Alright, so this is a little bit about Dalton's Law of Multiple Proportions in response to um, the question about homework problem from Chapter 5, number 105. Um, what Dalton's Law of Multiple Proportions says, if you have two compounds made up of um, the same elements, then if you keep the mass of one of those elements the same in both compounds, and then keep the rate then take the ratio of the second the mass of the second element in one compound to the mass of that same element in the second compound again keeping the second element the same it should be a ratio of small whole numbers for example before we do the problem let's say we have two compounds and compound one there are oh, 24 grams of carbon and uh, 4 grams of hydrogen. What we do is we just take the mass of one divided by the mass of the other. Let's take grams of carbon over grams of hydrogen. And when we do this division, that's equal to 6 grams of carbon per every 1 gram of hydrogen in compound 1. Now, let's say we have another compound, compound 2. It also is comprised of just carbon and hydrogen. And in this second compound, we have 36 grams of carbon and 8 grams of hydrogen. When we take this ratio for compound 2, we get 4.5 grams of carbon per every one gram of hydrogen in the second compound, compound two. Now all we have to do to show that Dalton's law of multiple proportions is obeyed here is to take the ratio of the mass of carbon in compound one for every one gram of hydrogen to the mass of carbon in compound two for every one gram of hydrogen in that compound. So basically we're just going to take 6 divided by This is 1.33 grams of carbon in compound one, for every one gram of carbon in compound two, but that's just equal to pretty close anyway, 4 grams of carbon in compound 1 to 3 grams of carbon in compound 2, right? We just take 1.33 times 3, and we get 3.99, which is basically 4, and 1 times 3 is 3. This is a small whole number ratio. So now, okay, we're going to do the same thing, only for problem 105. Here, we're told in ethane, we have 2.65 grams of carbon per every 0.665 grams of hydrogen. 
And when we do the division, we get 3.98 or so. Four is first insignificant figure. Grams of carbon for every one gram of hydrogen. And that's in ethane. And for acetylene, you're told that there are 4.65 grams of carbon per every 0.383 grams of hydrogen. Right. And this gives us 12.1 or so grams of carbon per every one gram of hydrogen in acetylene. All we have to do now to prove that these two compounds obey Dalton's law of multiple proportions is take 12.1 divided by 3.98. and see if it's pretty close to a whole number ratio. And when we do that, um, we get about three or so. So yes, these two compounds do obey Dalton's law of multiple proportions.